Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Ninja-kun Majo no Boken, which translates to The Adventure of Devil Castle. And this series is also sometimes referred to as Ninja Kid. This game was developed by Jalico and published in arcades on the MSX and on the Famicom in 1984. It's actually the precursor to a game that's known as Rad Action in North America, which I think is a far superior title. In this game, you'll be playing as the title character Ninja-kun, as he battles evil ninjas, demons, and monsters in an effort to save Japan. I guess, it's never really fully explained why you're doing this. Ninja-kun is a classic style single screen arcade game where the goal of each stage is simply to kill all of the enemies that appear. The stage itself is either a mountain or a feudal Japanese castle, and you can change levels by jumping up or dropping down, and all of the enemies can do the same. You can kill them by throwing ninja shurikens at them, but you have to be careful because they have projectiles of their own. By dropping down on top of them though, you can briefly stun them and give yourself a free shot. Defeated enemies leave behind point bonuses, which you'll definitely want to pick up as you can eventually earn some extra lives, and you have no continues. In each level, you'll also notice a crystal ball descending to the ground, and you'll want to pick those up as well, as when you collect three of them, you're given a bonus stage to play around in, which gives you a chance to earn a lot of bonus points. Overall, Ninja-kun is an extremely simple game, but it's also really fun. It falls right in line with a lot of other early 80s arcade games. And while I don't hold it in as high regard as, say, Donkey Kong or Pac-Man, I do really like it. It's definitely worth playing if you like other games from the era. The presentation in Ninja-kun I think is pretty decent for the time it was released. Jalico at least did what they could with what they had. The character designs are well done, especially Ninja-kun himself who has a very simple but also very cute design. The stages cycle between mountains and castles and while the mountain stages are a bit on the bland side, I do like the look of the castle stages and overall this is a fairly colorful game. It's definitely not bad looking. The sound design is also pretty good. The music is very basic, but the arrangements, what few there are, match the very Japanese stylings of the game, and the sound effects aren't bad either. So on the whole, I'd say the presentation in Ninja-kun is pretty good for a 1984 release. So this is a game that I can easily recommend to old school arcade game enthusiasts. It's simple, straightforward, and a lot of fun. Loose carts of the Famicom version can easily be found online for roughly 10 bucks, which isn't so bad. And if you don't have a Famicom, it can also be found on the PS4's arcade archives. And if you don't have one of those, I'm pretty sure a ROM isn't all that hard to come by. If you're looking for some old school ninja action, then Ninja-kun should be right up your alley. After all, it features plenty of rad action. 